All right. Are we on? All right, let me talk about my experience in Texas. Uh, what is it like to live in Texas? I'm gonna give you a top five to six reason. So here we go, number one. Texas is a big old state, big state, man. Everything is big in Texas. They got this thing called Texas Edition on everything. You got like minivan, four by four pickup truck, even the uh, food, like the platter, the bowl of noodle. It's called Texas Edition. They bring you a big old bowl of noodle. It's big, man. It's bigger than what you have here in California. They call it Texas Edition. And chips and salsa, it's always a ride at the table before you even get your food. Like, damn, that's a bonus. All right, move on. Number two. Number two is more money, more fun. So in Texas, you get more money for your living because um, there's no state income taxes. So whatever you keep, you don't pay to the state. You pay the federal, but you don't pay to the state. So more money equal more fun. And on Sunday, Sunday is fun day. It's a religion or family gathering. It's usually a religion. And you cannot buy alcohol within certain limits, certain time limit. <coughs> so on Sunday, don't even buy alcohol, man. Just go to church. Go do whatever your, your ritual ceremony and then just be on with your life. So Sunday is fun day, family gathering, or religion, or religious holiday. Think of that way. Number three, number three. Um, there's a town for everyone. No matter where you go in Texas, there's always something for everybody. No matter what your race, ethnicity, culture, you'll find at least like one or two places, whether it's a, a restaurant, organization, a holy ritual, community, whatever you can find, you'll find in, in Texas. Doesn't matter what your ethnicity, race, religion, you will find somebody that, that is common to you. All right. Number four, uh, Texas is rich in history. Where well, you got the Alamo there, you got Bonnie and Clyde, and then you got um, NASA, the station there in Texas. All right. Uh, number five, don't mess with Texas. If you go to Texas, no one thing. They love guns over there. All right. Don't California. Blah blah blah. My Texas. Don't California. Their Texas. Whatever your belief is here in Cali, leave it all behind. Go there. Change your your political view and vote red. Okay. Vote for freedom. When they say don't mess with Texas, what they really mean is don't mess with Texan, because Texan packs heat. They love the Second Amendment. They love that thing to, to the death because of what happened during the, uh, the Alamo. Anyway, you want to look up uh, the Battle of Alamo? Just look it up. See what I mean. Um, well, you know, they love Second Amendment because it's, a, it's an equalizer. It's the last line of defense. You know, it, the reason why the Founding Father put the Second Amendment in there is not because you can hunt back then. It is, it's to give you ability to hunt, but in the modern day, it's not like that. It's more like to protect yourself. If you don't have any weapon on you, in your house, in your home, in your car, whatever, is you're either a victim of the criminals or you're the victim of the government, all right? And when you go to Texas, behave yourself. Don't try to pick a fight with anybody because everybody, if, even if I don't have a gun, my neighbor will. And so on and so on. It goes like that. If if I don't have a gun to check you, to put you in check, somebody else will. It, it goes like that. You know. Um. Uh, damn man, what am I, what am I thinking? Uh, so don't mess with Texas. Leave them alone. Even the even the uh, the police, the local police, sheriff, state trooper, state police, DPS, Texas Ranger. Even the federal police, like the FBI, DHS, all the other federal police, they're afraid of the citizen in Texas more than they're afraid of uh, the other uh, organization. Because the, the citizen, a well-armed, regulated militia, is to ensure the freedom, the safety, and the protection of the state. So the Second Amendment stated, shall not be infringed, no matter what. 
It's not even a suggestion. It's a directive. It's not even a, uh, yeah. So basically, it's not even a suggestion. It's a directive. So it's a, it's, it's a supreme, it's a supreme law that trump every other law. When all else fail, Second Amendment is the last line of defense. Put it that way. All right, uh, number six. Well, I already talked about this. Is that there's no state taxes. Um, you get more money for your buck, so you can buy a house really cheap over there. For instance, Cali, it'll cost you about a million bucks just to buy just to buy an average home here, here in Los Angeles area. <coughs> in Texas, you can get one under a hundred grand. That's very cheap. However, there is a state uh, a state property taxes which is higher than what we have in California. I think it's one percent here in Cali. In Texas, it's more like 10%. But you gotta factor out all the cost of living, the expenses. Texas is relatively cheaper than to live in Texas than in here in California. So, that being said is, go to Texas with open mind, open eyes, open ear. You know, uphold, obey, and defend the Constitution and the Second Amendment, the first 10 Bill of Rights. Just do the right thing, uh, vote red, you know, leave your political ideology here in Cali behind. If you vote blue, leave all that shit behind. Go to Texas, vote red. Follow whatever they do here in, te in Texas, you do the same thing. They're so friendly and nice over there. They like to say, um, how y'all doing and blah, blah, blah. Here in Cali, people don't give a fuck. Like every day when I wake up, I walk out. Nobody smile at me. Nobody say hello, hi, blah, blah, blah. They just get up, go to work, pay the bill, and they mind their own business. And people here in Cali are not so friendly, man. I, I don't know what's going on with this damn state. Like, they only care about themselves and nobody else. It's not like that in Texas. Texas is so clean, nice, respectful, and they love the Second Amendment. They love the Bill of Rights.